G'day guys, how's it going? And welcome to another Inbox Review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Revell Germany's German Midget Submarine Sea Hunt in 170 second scale. And this is kit number 05125 and it came as part of a uh, gift pack, starter pack that Revell produced. Uh, the kit contains approximately 42 parts it's 16.5 centimetres long and just looking at the box, a nice bit of box there and, and going to the side of the box, the typical Revell call out for their range of paints and there's three photos there of the completed model uh, just giving a little bit of information about the, the hull in two halves showing welded seams, deep Detailed propeller and helm, periscopes, two lateral torpedo tubes, display stand and decals for U5022 and U5316. The other side of the box, we have got uh, a little bit of uh, information about the boat. And basically what these boats were, they were built by the Kriegsmarine uh, towards the end of the Second World War as a little stop gap uh, and something a bit more stealthier. About uh, 285 of these vessels were, were built and they operated with quite considerable success. They were very hard to, to detect on uh, that particular type of sonar that was in those uh, areas that day. They operated uh, with a two-man crew. It would have been a bit of a challenge in the small submarine. They could operate for up to seven days. During that time, in a very short time, they sunk 93 thousand ton of allied shipping and uh, and also a French destroyer and uh, I'd have to say that's a that's a quite a feat for a, a two-man submarine and uh, I have to say that they were very very brave uh, young U-boat crews that would have been put to sea in these particular vessels anyway so this was part of a starter kit and uh, I don't know what anything's like but what it actually came with in a, and I, I've already done, done, I did the blister packs when I'm done. It came with three um, containers of the uh, Revell Aqua Colour uh, paint. Um, I've never ever had it in Australia before. It looks a bit gloogy. Um, I will test it and I will try to use it uh, in this build. I think it should mix up all right. Um, I've seen a lot of people brush this stuff on with really really good success and it would be uh, anything would be better than the Humbrol range at the moment for people uh, especially young starting starting out you know building uh, model kits it comes with a pretty ingenious uh, paintbrush with two ends on it and it comes with a good old uh, Revell contactor glue which is uh, quite good and just remember too guys if the tip ever blocks on these and make sure it is a metal tip, not a plastic one. You can cigarette lighter, and if you're at young children, supervision, a little bit of heat underneath that, and just give it a gentle squeeze, and it will clear itself. It'll blow out a little bit of crap and uh, the dried out glue, and then you're away to go again. But it's very, very good glue. Anyway, we'll have a look at the instruction on the sheet. The instruction sheet, it's in its uh, one. Two, five, seven, eight pages of instruction sheet. Uh, typical Ravel uh, tells you a little bit of the um, history of the machine and some of the technical data um, and sort of giving you some sort of uh, scope to what these submarines were capable of. Um, some little tips down there on helping you get better results out of your own models which is a good thing to see uh, and just some other call outs there showing you uh, what signs to look out for in the instruction guide so uh, you know how to assemble the model kit the little decal sheet we'll have a look at that in a minute so the instruction starts off with the one uh, sprue gator parts that's all you get one sprue gate so it's a it's a very simple kit um which i can see why Ravel put it into the starter range of uh, their their series 
we start off uh, with some stabilizers being glued together, moving down, putting the uh, hull together, the ballast tanks, rudders, uh, etc. Um, letting you know that things have got to be held together while glue sets. Uh, then we start working around on the conning tower. It's uh, giving you clear, precise to drill some holes for some parts that need to go in there. And some remove some little moulding tabs on top of the conning tower deck. Followed by adding periscopes, hatches, um, radar communications. I'm not too sure what they are. Um, letting that all dry. Putting on torpedo mount and brackets in your display stand. Assembling your torpedoes and attaching your torpedoes. Clearly saying that you've got to make two of those. Let things dry before you go on further. And then finally we have the painting guide. Which gives you two, the two marking options which is uh, U5022 from Kiel in 1945 and U5316 in the North Sea in 1945 and both as you can see in different completely different colour schemes we'll have a look at the actual parts now the parts I do like this too the way these have been bagged um, there's two things I, I, I'll have a bit of a point out here. I like these bags because they're resealable. You can put your parts back in when you finish and seal them up. But I've noticed there was damage on these. These two ballast tanks on either end. They're rattling around the box backwards and forwards and they've broken off and suffered a little bit of damage. But one do the bag. So, as we can see, and uh, just picked up on here that uh, the kit, I don't know whether you can see that, ICM. Um, so this is a reboxing of the ICM kit. I'll just grab over here and grab my pointy stick. But uh, there's some uh, little bit of damage on uh, these areas here um, where they've been rattling around in the bag. But I can't see any flash, sink marks. Everything looks really, really, uh, really, really good. And I'll just see if I can give you a bit of a close-up to show you. Hopefully you can see that nice and clear. It's really, really nicely moulded. The plastic looks a little bit uh, grainy. But that just gives the paint something to stick to, I think. And um, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. And gives some sort of texture underneath the paint anyway. Because... Uh, Steel, rolled steel, is not perfectly smooth. It is with a lot of paint on it, but there's always some sort of texture mark there from the uh, the actual making of the steel. But that's a very, very tidy little kit. I can't see any warpage or um, any excess flash or just that little bit of damage even right around uh, the propellers here. have got some very fine gates where you uh, remove the parts from the sprue trees. Very, very, uh, very tiny little bit of flash here on one of the uh, conning tower parts. Um, but boy, that's that's not a bad kit. And I can see now why Ravel have uh, boxed this kit as a uh, beginner's in a starter set because it's a really interesting little subject. It's a marine subject, uh, something naval, something Second World War. Very small pass count. I think it will go together quite well. Um, we'll find this out in the next uh, three or four days. Uh, we'll make a start on it. And uh, yeah, so, so far so good. I'll have a quick little bit of a look to see at the decals. And uh, hopefully you guys can see them. We can get them to come into focus a little bit. But uh, decals seem to be really, really good. The carrier film is really, really thin, uh, very nicely printed. I don't think they'll give me grief like the last lot of Ravel decals did, and silver like all buggery. But that's it. That's a wonderful little kit. I really, really do enjoy that. It's, I think it's going to be a pleasure to build. Very smart by Ravel to uh, package a nice little simple submarine and a starter pack for some younger people. And there must be edge kit 
an etch kit or etch set out there available for the modeler who wants to really pour their heart and soul into this little submarine. I think it's a fantastic little uh, little model, and I'm looking really forward to building it actually, um, just for something different. And uh, we'll get some progress uh, videos up on this one during the week, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of fun, I think. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, until next time, be safe, model hard. Um, God bless you. You can get a good result out of an old model kit with a little bit of effort. And I said that round the other way this time just to confuse you. Take care, guys.